Hi, hey fam. Welcome back. Hope you guys are having a great day. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. And we're back with another reaction. It's another pitch meeting, this time to an oldie but a goldie. Which one is this, Dan? Howard the Duck. Damn right it is. Grew up on this one, fam. Cheers to you, fam. Let's go watch it. So, you have a movie for me? Yes, sir, I do. It's based on a comic book series called Howard the Duck. Oh, and what's his deal? Uh, you're gonna like this. He's a duck and his name is Howard. That explains Thanks. the title. <laughs> made a lot of sense so far. It sure is, sir. So Howard lives on this planet called Duck World, where instead of primates evolving into the primary species, ducks did. Wow, so things must be pretty crazy over there, huh? Nope, everything's exactly the same as here, except with ducks. Yeah. Oh, it is? Yeah, like, we're gonna see that they have breeders of the lost store <laughs> on Splash Dance and Birdweiser. Birdweiser, yeah, I didn't even Play notice duck. that. Play <laughs> duck, yeah, Howard's gonna flip through an adult magazine called Play Duck. We're gonna oh, see Lord. some fully <laughs> exposed duck boobs. What? Yeah, well, ducks evolved to have human-like boobs, so, you know, we're gonna want to show those in full detail. Like, like <laughs> censored or <laughs> not censored in any way. We just straight up gotta show them. So this movie with a talking duck, it's not It's not for kids? It might be. Who's to say? <laughs> I feel like you should say. Well, I'm not gonna, sir. I'm gonna be all over the place with yeah, this thing. So Fair I. enough. So anyway, then Howard suddenly gets pulled out of his duck apartment with a freaking space Space laser. Oh, he does? Yeah, he just goes flying through the walls. Obviously, we see some more exposed duck <laughs> on the way. But why, though? And Howard ends up on Earth in Cleveland. Oh, he's on Earth now? He is, and he's gonna have to deal with a bunch of people, and he's just a defenseless little duck, you know, so he basically gets beat up. Wow. And then a couple does. of minutes later, he uses some martial arts thing called duck food to save this girl Beverly Quack who's food, being attacked. I, I thought you said he was just a defenseless duck. Yeah, but that was a completely different scene. I mean, anything goes now. Feels like maybe there should be a bit of consistency. Yeah, well, there's not yeah, gonna no. be, though. Well, okay, then. So what's duck foo, anyway? It's kung Fu, sir, but I changed kung to duck, so it's funny now. So this is a comedy? No, it's it sure is, sir. We're gonna movie. have a ton of jokes in this thing. We're talking duck puns. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it. Any yeah. other kinds of jokes? Or... No, absolutely not. Just hundreds of duck puns. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. <laughs> duck puns. A ducknado, if you will. Oh, you just Lord. replace part of the word tornado with duck on that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty much the level of effort I put into all of these. So what <laughs> oh, else? God, I don't believe it. Well, that Beverly girl, she brings him back to her place to sleep. So she's not freaked out by the fact that he's an alien duck? Apparently not. So as soon as he falls asleep, obviously, she goes through his wallet. Why did she do that? Well, because we got to cram in a couple more duck jokes, you know? There's a blooming duck card. <laughs> There's a, you know, tiny condom. Oh my God. So the next day, she brings him to see her friend Phil, who's a scientist, so they can figure out how to send Howard home. Okay. But then it turns out that Phil is just a lab assistant, so Howard gets all mad at Beverly, and then he's like, well, I guess I'd better find a job now. Well, he's been on Earth like 10 hours, and he's just giving up on getting home. Yeah, he's all done with that now, so he goes to the <laughs> other side of the office, and they hook him up with some work. He doesn't need any proof of citizenship or of, you know, not being a duck. Apparently not. not so, the so they hook him up with a job at a, you know, an adult erotic spa. What? Yeah, so he goes to work there, but it's super gross, because everyone's just doing it all over the place, so he quits immediately. He quits immediately? So what was the point of the whole scene? I don't know. Fair enough. So then Howard spends some more time with Beverly, because he's not mad at her anymore for some reason, and let me tell you, things get pretty heated. What, heated? Mm -hmm. what, are you, what are you talking about? I mean, they're in bed together, she's in her underwear, she's touching him all over, it gets pretty <laughs> intimate. Oh, who is this movie for? But then they get interrupted by Phil and some actual scientists, so, you know, they don't get to go all the way. Oh, well, thank oh, goodness man. for that. I still feel like I might have some bad dreams about it, though. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have dreams about it, too. Can't help but notice he left out the word bad. Anyway, so the scientist, <laughs> Dr. Jenning, he's like, well, I think this laser we used at the lab is probably what sent you here, so we'll just go put it in reverse. Oh, the movie's almost over? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. No, it's no. not. Oh, that's too bad. <laughs> so somehow the laser backfires and goes all crazy, and then the cops show up, and Dr. Jenning, he gets all messed up by the laser. Messed up how? Well, he says he feels like there's a creature inside of him and he looks like he's boiling or something. Uh oh. Yeah, it definitely makes it hard for him to drive hmm. as he's escaping with Howard and Beverly. Well, why doesn't Beverly drive? Well, how would I know? I thought you <laughs> might. Well, I don't. So anyway, they finally notice that maybe Jenning is turning into a monster or something. So Beverly's like, well, I think he probably just needs a cup of coffee. So they go to a diner. That makes sense. And so Jenning starts <laughs> saying things in a growly voice like, I am the dark overlord and I've taken over this guy's body. And Howard and Beverly, they're like, huh, this scientist guy is kind of weird. The alien duck doesn't think that maybe another alien is taking over this guy's body? Apparently not. And then for some reason a fight breaks out and a bunch of people jump into pies that Howard is holding. Why do they do that? Well, I'm pretty sure the arms on the duck costume aren't gonna allow for a throwing motion, so <laughs> yeah. people are just gonna kind of run into pies. Uh oh, running oh, they into did, pies they? is yeah, tight. They did. And then the dark overlord gets pies. super Sorry. powerful and he kidnaps Beverly. Oh, how come? Well, he says he needs a human body as a host to bring some of his buddies down. So why Beverly specifically? Can't he just grab any human 
human. Yeah, but she's one of the main characters, so right, that makes sense. Yeah. And then Howard and Phil, they're going to have to outrun the police in an ultralight aircraft thing yep. okay. for like 25 minutes. Seems a little excessive. Yeah, well, I don't <laughs> have any other bad. ideas for exciting sequences, so they're just going to do this for like 25 minutes. Like, almost hit something and then miss it, and they can't use the aircraft to, you know, fly away. No, they can only fly it a couple of feet above a main road so the chase can happen. <laughs> Fair enough. So 25 <laughs> minutes. Right, you said that. And so finally they get to the lab and the Dark Overlord, he's completely messed up Jennings' body. He's all deformed, he has mm. spikes coming out of his back. Oh no. And then he takes his final form as a big alien thing. Wow, so Jennings dies? No, no, he's fine. But he said he was like <laughs> boiling and he had spikes coming out of his back. That didn't do anything? Yeah, no, yeah. that didn't do nope. anything. <laughs> well, okay then. So is it gonna be tough for Howard to beat this big alien monster? Actually, it's gonna be super easy. Barely, Barely an inconvenience. inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, it turns out the lab they're in has this big disintegration gun, so you know, they just use that and that, 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 that takes care of it. Wow, wow, yeah. wow, wow, wow. And then at the end of the movie, Howard is now the manager of Beverly's band, and they sing a song called Howard the Duck. <laughs> oh, bands love singing <laughs> songs about their managers. They sure do, sir. So what do you think? Well, I mean, it sounds pretty nuts, to be honest. He said it's based on a comic book. That's right, sir, from a company called Marvel. Do you think we should explore some of their other characters, or? No, 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 I'm telling you, this duck character, he's the only Marvel property that's gonna be worth anything on the big screen. Oh, no. Yeah, not so much. Mm. <laughs> nice try, though, huh? <laughs> I liked where they were going, though. <laughs> no, no cigar. All right, so I guess I was wrong. There were plot holes after all. Quite a few, actually. <laughs> That's pretty good. I like that one. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be full of duck puns. And what else? That's it. And uh, what's the word? What's the word for that? Bestiality? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what came to my mind, too. Like, who is this for? The bestiality crowd? Yes. <laughs> When I was a kid, I didn't even think about it. No. It looked funny, you know? Oh, the things we don't let slip in nowadays, you know? Right. It's weird, too, because he makes a really good point. Like, is this supposed to be for kids? Because it feels like the character is for kids, but it's not. No. <laughs> no. And he's right, though. There were a lot of exposed duck, duck breasts. And they did, nothing to, they did nothing to, like, get that off the screen. They didn't care. No. Nobody cared. Even the people watching didn't care. Because yeah. like, I'm pretty sure we watched that at like my uh, my summer camp once, mm -hmm. and it was completely unfiltered the way it was regular. Yeah. Well, somebody made a mistake on that one. I think pretty sure I'm the one that brought the movie. Oh, so, did you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cared. Everybody else had seen it, so they were uh, just okay. happy. <laughs> like, yay, duck boobs. That's what they were saying. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fam. That was fun. I think it's on to the next one there, guys. But as always, guys, uh, like, subscribe, hit the bells, and like and subscribe again, and go follow us up in those things up there, guys. Until next time, though, this has been Cocktail Flicks. I'm Joe. I'm Dan. We'll catch you on the flip side. Cheers to you, fam. Cheers to you, Dan. Cheers to you, Joe. Later, guys.